Hi, my name is Vincent Pham, and I am the ETA at the Wong Tree Teacher Training College in Dom Ha. I am currently 23 years old, although in Vietnam I could say I'm 24, uh, born in 1993, and I studied political science at the University of California, San Diego. And that's all. But a little more about me, and my background, and, and who I am. If you could not tell from my last name, I am Vietnamese. Both of my parents are Vietnamese. My mom is from Saigon, and my dad is from Nha Trang. I'm actually a little town north of Nha Trang. They're 100% Vietnamese, which makes me 100% Vietnamese. The big difference is that I was born in the United States. Growing up in the United States, uh, although my parents are Vietnamese, I grew up uh, kind of American-ish, depends how you define that. Me and my best friend, who is my neighbor, uh, would play uh, all these American games. I ate a lot of American food. I, I didn't really like Vietnamese food when I was growing up. I made my mom cook meatloaf, which is an interesting dish in itself, uh, although, you know, not bad if you cook it right. I didn't really like fish sauce or nick mum uh, because I thought it smelled funny. So that's kind of, you know, how I grew up. And, and to add on to that, to, to add on to my uh, childhood growing up as not super Vietnamese or not very Vietnamese, I didn't speak the language either. I could understand it. Me and my two older sisters could understand Vietnamese, but we never really spoke to my parents in Vietnamese. We would respond with, yeah, and after that just speak in English. It wasn't until college that I decided that uh, I'm Vietnamese, I'm gonna learn the language of my parents and of my grandparents, so I ended up taking some college classes to study Vietnamese. I did it for about a year and uh, I came out speaking. So now I can speak Vietnamese to my parents and I can speak to my family and grandparents and friends and strangers on the street. It's really great. So because of my background, my parents being Vietnamese, uh, now that I finally know the language and am familiar with the culture, I chose to come to Vietnam as an English teacher because it would give me the opportunity to live here for a little bit. I never really got the opportunity to live in Vietnam for an extended period of time. I had been to Vietnam on four previous occasions just to visit family and to travel, and now is my longest time that I've been here. I'm really happy uh, that I got to go to Vietnam, and I think it is super important to get in touch with your culture and your background and uh, for me to understand why my parents do certain things or think a certain way, it's probably been one of my most rewarding experiences that I've ever done. So hopefully that covers kind of why I chose Vietnam. To wrap it up, I, you know, I think uh, just getting in touch with my roots has been a, a, a very significant force and driving factor in my decision. On top of that, uh, I wanted to get into this program because I wanted to go into teaching, and I thought that this program would give me a really good experience to practice what working in a classroom would be like with you know, my own curriculum and lesson plans and everything. It's been a great time uh, being here and being able to teach and everything. And you know, overall, really happy to be here, really happy to be uh, with the program and really happy with the country that uh, I'm placed in. I also couldn't be more happy to be in the city that I'm in. I, I love uh, Dom Han, Wang Ji, and I feel like it's so full of history uh, and that, you know, every day I can learn something new and I, and I hope I do and I hope that I can leave uh, taking away some valuable information from uh, being here and I think I already have. What song would I sing at karaoke? Someone Like You by Adele, fan favorite. What's my favorite city or place in Vietnam? I like the major cities, which is a lame answer, but I do really like going to Hanoi, Da Nang, and Saigon. Yeah, that's me. What is a favorite food that my parents cook? I really like eating Nam Nung. It is a specialty from my dad's hometown in uh, Nha Trang or that, that region. I used to always eat it whenever I came home from college. I would go home every couple of months, so it wasn't too often. So really good memories eating it, really love the food. It's, it's such a fun experience eating it and it tastes so good and eating at home is just uh, so much better doing it with family and friends. What are my favorite hobbies? I really like running. That's a big hobby of mine. I try to do it uh, every day, if not uh, five times a week or something like that. Uh, and I also really like reading. Uh, those are the things that make me sound good, but in reality, I also really like, you know, watching TV and movies and 
playing games, just chatting with friends, you know, everything that you probably like doing, I like doing too. What's my favorite movie? It's not an American movie, it's actually Japanese, uh, and it's called Wolf Children. Uh, really great movie uh, about motherhood and uh, raising children, and I think it's one of those films that just teaches you a lot, even though it's uh, fiction and fantasy, and it's a, it's a Japanese uh, cartoon, but would highly recommend it, and I think it's, it's just one of those movies that has had a uh, profound uh, if not simple, impact on who I am and how I view things. What is your favorite American food? What is, what is my favorite American food? Two words, pizza rolls. They're amazing. If I could describe them in several words, uh, I would say that they are these little pockets of sunshine that are warm and crispy and golden, sometimes burnt if you turn the oven too high. They are full of uh, artificial, cheesy tomato goodness, which uh, is hard to describe, but you just have to eat it to really know. They are good uh, at any time of day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, post-breakfast, post-lunch, post-dinner, pre-breakfast, pre-lunch, pre-dinner, really any, any time of the day. You could eat it anywhere with anyone. They're, they're small and they're portable, which makes them good to share. I have tried uh, on several occasions uh, to let the company who makes pizza rolls, Totino's, know that I'm in Vietnam and am a big fan of the product. And I've asked them to ship some over here. Uh, haven't gotten a response from Totino's yet. I'm still trying. And uh, if they come one day, I will be uh, sure to share them with the Vietnamese people. Uh, and to start spreading the word on how good um, pizza rolls are. So that's my favorite food. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you made it through this video, congratulations. Uh, I know that I don't speak so clearly and I've been making an active effort in this video to do so. If you are curious about my experiences or just have any questions or want to chat, uh, comment below or uh, send this YouTube channel and email, and I would be happy to respond to you. I wish all of you watching uh, the best to learning English with your wonderful ETAs. Uh, they're all fantastic people, and I hope you can make the most of what they have to offer, and uh, maybe I'll see you around in the country.